Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I just came back from my favorite place, the farmer's market. The first thing I want to show you, did I even introduce myself? I'm Abeni Bamidele. How are all of you today? I hope you're doing all right. I am trying to remain cool. It is a scorcher out there. So this is what I wanted to start off with. I wanted to start off with showing you this smoothie. This smoothie, I don't know if you notice the consistency, but it's it's a little bit thick. And um, they're supposed to be thick, but this one is especially thick. It has a variety of things in it. Spinach, blueberries, frozen bananas, nectarines, and strawberries. Then I put some coconut water in it. Calms the spirit, calms the soul. But the magical thing that I really put in here to give it this consistency is, you ready? I put in a magic uh, powder in there. And that is called collagen. It's that time, ladies, if you are 40 and up, and for me, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I put collagen in there. And now this is a vegetarian-based powder that I use. Now collagen can be found in chickens and cows, but you know how I feel about cows. Did you see my video? Did it scare you off about the milk? If it did, I'm sorry. I know you shut it down quickly because, you know, people, they like their milk, they like their cheese, but enough on that. Okay, so what is collagen? Now, this is a powder that I got. I'm not endorsing the brand, so I'm not going to hold it up too long, but that comes in a powder form. And essentially, collagen, we all have collagen. And the younger you are, the more collagen you produce. It is a protein in the body that is developed that helps your, your bones. It helps the, you know, to strengthen your bones and keeps your muscles you know, strong and developed. And uh, you know, when, you're, 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 um, when you see young people and their legs are really toned and they just really look good, you know? It's the collagen in their bodies. But after age 22, who would have thought, it starts gradually depleting. Very slow process at age 22. But that's when it'll start depleting. And by the time you reach 40, look out. You're barely uh, developing this protein within your body. And the thing about it is, there's nothing that you can really eat uh, so much that's going to bring that protein back, that collagen back. So the, the best thing to do is to actually get the collagen. It can come in uh, pill form. I know people get injections, I believe. And I said, I'm going to go for the powder. So uh, you can put the powder just in water. I put it in my coconut water or I'll put it in a smoothie and I better do something with this smoothie. It's getting thicker and thicker because the collagen, it comes, it, it turns into like a gel base. Now what the collagen does is for, you know, older women and younger women, you know, because I know some young folks that use it and they don't necessarily need it, but I guess they're being proactive so that you don't need to use Botox. Okay. So what it does, it fills out those fine lines in your face, you know, those smile lines, and um, it plumps your face back up because as you get older, I'm so sorry to say, but your face starts sinking in unless you're like, you know, eating a lot and you always got that chipmunk look going on where you're, you know, filling your cheeks out. But, out, uh, you know, aside from that, we need collagen back in our bodies. Uh, it reduces um, cellulite. So ladies, if you have any cellulite, start taking the collagen. It'll fill your legs back up. You're going to have to work out, though, to build that muscle up. But the collagen is going to help you. 
Uh, let's see what else. I have things written down here. It boosts your metabolism. Uh, helps with stretch marks. And it detoxes the body. So uh, it cleanses the liver. So collagen does a lot. So like I said, I use the powder. I guess I should at least open this up and let you see. It has a little scoop thingy in it. Can you see that? Okay. Can you see that? There you go. You have got like a fume going up. So that's what I've been doing. I just started it. So I've been using collagen for a week. I'm going to come back to you and let you know what results I have maybe after a little over a month. So just remember that. Hold me to it. I'm going to come back. We're going to see what happens because I'm looking for strengthening my muscles and, you know, any cellulite. I, I want it to be completely gone. I'm not expecting all of that in, a, in about four weeks. But um, from what I do understand, people do begin to see results after a month uh, where the elasticity in their face, it starts tightening back up because, you know, our faces, it's not just our faces, you know, gravity gets to us and we just start, you know, we pretty much, you know, people with uh, more melanin tend to not have as many challenges in these areas, but we are not exempt from having such challenges as droopy skin ah, I don't know about that but it starts filling out those lines I've got lines under my eyes you know that that bagginess so I'm looking forward to seeing what happens does it fill out more in those areas along with the fact that I've increased my water intake so I'll let you know how that works out okay so now I'm going to stop talking about the collagen but you know if you want to try it out um hey try it out I ordered it on Amazon okay so um I'll tell you how it works out for me now I'm going to move fast I did write things down all right, so I went to the farmer's market and I'm going to try not to repeat some of the things that I did before from my, you know, angry black woman uh, veggie, fruit and veggie haul. <laughs> um, I'm not going to repeat things, but I have to tell you, I am a creature of habit. Some of those things that I showed you, I get those things every week. Every week, I am in the farmer's market every week. Yes, that is one of my favorite places. You know, some people like Walmart, Target. I like the farmer's market. I got... No, this is not my uh, spinach. This is... Mmm smells so good uh oh can you guess what this is can you guess can you guess looks like it's just straight off the tr now you know let, let me put this back in the bag because uh, soon i won't be able to eat it let me stick that back in the bag so can you guess what this is it's bok choy bok choy is a considered a chinese cabbage i'm going to Clean it, chop it up, saute it in some olive oil, um, put some ginger. I saw a recipe where you, you know, you slice up ginger, you slice up garlic. I mean, this is like, this is medicine. Your food should be your medicine. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chop that up and saute it and maybe put some other things that I have here in it. So that's number one antioxidants i'm looking down because i can't remember all of that stuff antioxidants strong bones uh healthy heart you know cardiovascular health and um you know any leafy green vegetable is going to fight cancer it's going to prevent cancer and if you know god forbid if uh you end up having cancer it will fight against it tooth and nail you know, do you hear that word again? Fight. You know, 
when I say that we're in a spiritual warfare, we are in a spiritual warfare. It's not just about the people, you know. I know that, you know, we're fighting against each other. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. The religious folks will say fighting against principalities. Okay, so the point is we are fighting against some spiritual things. We're fighting against the, you know, uh, diseases and you know discourse and agony and pain and one of the things that's going to keep you going through the fight is food food you don't want to dumb yourself down with you know mcdonald's and kfc and all of those things they will kill you this food will keep you living okay all right, that, that was enough of that. That, you know, who do I think I am? All right, moving right along. Next thing we have, I know you can guess what these are. These are jumbo too. Jalapeno peppers. Are these not gigantic or what? I got a bag of them. Another medicine. This is another medicine. Let's see what we got here for it's good for nasal congestion now you ought to know that you know it's hot so when you you chop it up and eat just a little bit of this you know saute it you can put it in a salad or something if you want you know if you dare you know i have the guts to do it um so it helps with nasal congestion and it prevents colds you see here's the thing when you eat these things ahead of time don't eat it after you're sick Take these things to prevent the sickness, you know? So th do you know that you don't have to have the sniffles in the wintertime? You don't have to have a cold in the wintertime. You don't have to catch the flu. You know, people run off, oh, I need a flu shot. You know, I'm not going to, you know, tell you not to get a flu shot, you know, but if you don't, I can tell you that your foods will protect you they will boost your immune system and they won't even put any little bit of flu in your in your veins okay i i know that's a myth from what i hear they don't put flu in you you know in those in those needles right i don't know anyway moving right along jalapeno peppers reduces the blood pressure um fights cancer of course it prevents cancer and of course, it helps with all types of, you know, arthritis, you know, uh, rheumatoid arthritis. Can't remember the other one off the top of my head, but, um, the, you know, it reduces the, the inflammation in the body so that you won't have the pain, you know, that you experience. Okay, the next thing is another leafy green, like you can see that in the bag. Let's see if I can pull this out without dropping it all. Tell me if you can recognize this. I only got two leafy greens this time and, and small ones. Because I, I have, um, I've got plenty of other leafy green stuff uh, in my healing laboratory. See, we over here have a healing laboratory. We don't have a kitchen not a kitchen it's a healing laboratory that is where you get your healing this what is this this is turnips turnip greens turnip greens turnip greens I only got a little bit because I'm the only one that's going to be eating it and um you know, you can you can chop them up, you can saute it, some people boil it, and you know, they cook it with meat. For me, I'm going to put uh, garlic cloves. Remember that day I bought those garlic cloves? I'm going to put some garlic cloves in there. I still have some of those. I put it in the freezer. So I'm going to chop that up, cook it with this, you know, put some other seasonings. Okay, so the next thing, next thing, you're going to have to pardon me. I'm getting nervous about this drink because it has this uh, collagen in it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next thing. I got mushrooms. Lots and lots and lots of mushrooms. And I know that people don't like mushrooms. Mushrooms. Ugh, isn't that a fungus? That's a fungus. Yeah, well, guess what? 
I'll take it. Now let me look down here and see what it has. All right, these are high in iron. So what does that mean? Strong muscles to go along with that collagen that goes along with that working out, right? Uh, iron, if it's high in iron, it's also going to help your hair grow. All right, it's going to promote that. Weight management. Can you imagine? I didn't even know. Uh, helps the those that suffer with asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, renal failure, and has also also been known to um, treat hepatitis B. Who would have thought? Mushrooms, medicine, medicine. This is how we're supposed to be living. Okay. What's next? What is next is, this is a seasoning. Oh no, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, it smells good. I know you can't tell, this lighting is just awful. One day I'll use my camera, I promise you that, but not now. And plus it's getting dark out. I don't know why, no sunlight. Okay, so do you see this? This is, turmeric and uh, I'm not going to open it because it's, it's just going to all come tumbling out I'm going to put it in a container turmeric is so doggone good for you this is medicine this right here is medicine and I'm not just saying that because it was it served and still serves as a traditional medicine both in India and in China and uh, it is a root vegetable, but when it's dried and this is um, ground up, it is in powder form. It's got a bitter taste, um, but it really serves as a medicine. You know, it is an anti-inflammatory natural food that is going to help people with arthritis. Uh, it is an antidepressant. It works. Uh, better than Prozac. Can you imagine? Okay. I mean, we're, you know, these uh, drug companies are making big bucks off of people. People are getting all kinds of side effects from these antidepressants. Why do I keep wanting, why do I keep wanting to say depressants? From these antidepressants, you know, pharmaceutical companies are making lots of money. And, uh, you know, we shouldn't be going into the doctor to say, Doc, I'm depressed, because they're going to pump you up with pills. Now, I'm not saying don't service yourself if you are really um, suffering from a clinical depression. See your physician. See your physician. However, there are alternatives to these things. Consider turmeric. Look it up. Do your research. Talk to a healthcare specialist that is, uh, you know, has a holistic practice as opposed to just listening to your doctor, okay? Listen to some other people that really can help you with healing as opposed to covering up things. You know, this Prozac, is it going to heal you from depression? More than likely not, okay? Serves as a painkiller because it's an anti-inflammatory. Uh, uh, it blocks, I liked how it, it said it blocks cancer. So it prevents it, but it, I like that word, it blocks cancer. You know, it, it stops it in its tracks if your body is even thinking about it. But see, let me tell you something, because this is the thing that I've noticed with people. I don't know if you remember, but um, you know, if you've been watching my videos, I told a story of a lady that, um, you know, young women in obesity, you know, much, much younger than me, and uh, struggling with obesity. And I told this one woman about um, drinking cherry juice. And uh, just the other day, and it's been like maybe almost two months ago, maybe less than two months ago that I talked to her about the cherry juice. Well, she says to me the other day, oh yeah, I saw some cherry juice and um, I'm really thinking about getting it, you know, cause you know, you told me about the kind in the jar, but I saw the concentrate cherry juice. 
you know, the frozen concentrate. I'm, I'm going to get the frozen because, you know, it'll last me longer, you know. And I, you know, what, what could I do? What could I do? I just said, okay, okay. Because for me, who are you fooling? Who, who, who are you fooling? I, you, you know, you're not hurting me. You can look at all the jars. You can look at it in the can, in the jar, you know. She's the one suffering, you know, with arthritis and, you know, something it looks like. Doctors think it might be lupus, you know. She's the one suffering and she's telling me, you know, oh, yeah, I was looking. But, I'm, you know, you said in the, in the jar, but I'm, I'm going to go for the can. And then this is like almost two months later. My point is, when I'm telling you this stuff, you can't just have one uh, meal of greens and think you're going to be fine. This is a total life change. And you have to get your body adjusted and adapted to that change, you know. You think your body needs grease, you know, for those who eat it. You think your body needs a hamburger. You think your body needs those french fries or potato chips. Oh, I got a craving for some Doritos. You don't have a craving for Doritos. That's something up in here. You're going to have to get all of that straightened out. Your body is in need of these things. You know, not a hamburger, not a slab of ribs. You need food for life. Okay, so I went to the mushrooms. I'm not going to get into the pecans because I've talked about those before, but I did get those. I got my favorite, antioxidant, good for the eyes, men, good for the prostate, strawberries. I live for strawberries. Uh, I'm going to just freeze those up after I clean them. Next thing is... Um, You can't see these things. Let me see if I can bring it up there. Those are um, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Good for cardiovascular health. Boosts the immune system. It has those wonderful omega-3s. So that means it's going to help reduce body fat. It helps with depression, helps people with ADHD. Yes, pumpkin seeds. It's a shame my angle is just terrible sitting at a computer. I'll just do that. Yeah, now you, now you can see it. There you go, there you go. Pumpkin seeds, pumpkin seeds. No salt, okay? None of that white stuff. You Remember when you were a child? Some people will remember this. And I think that there was like a Native American on the front of the box. How dare they put this drawing of this Native American guy on the front of a box of pumpkin seeds with all of this white, 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 white poison salt on them. And we as kids were run to the corner store and eat it. Not good. I, 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 I don't understand. Okay, so what else? Alzheimer's and dementia. And... Uh, Hey, for great for women who are pregnant, the the baby will develop just fine. Get yourself some pumpkin seeds. And then here's some more seeds. This is seeds for days and nights. We're going to be eating seeds for days and nights. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sesame seed. No, I no, sunflower. Sunflower seeds. You see those? Lots of, I mean, that's a lot of sunflower seeds. It was a good, pretty good price. They were $2.97. I think it was a good price. You can't see that, can you? No, you can't see that. Well, you kind of saw that. Okay, sunflower seeds are, you know, great for cardiovascular health. Another anti-inflammatory. I mean, like all of these things are for, you know, your joints. Healthy joints, healthy bones. Uh, lowers cholesterol, calms your nerves. You know how people say, well, where's my nerve medication? Where's my nerve medicine? I never knew what that was. I would hear people say, you know, I need to get my nerve medicine. What, what is nerve medicine? 
This is nerve medicine. Pop some uh, sunflower seeds in your mouth. Eat those and that'll calm your nerves, okay? Um, what else we got? Great for the building of muscles, great for the blood vessels, also detoxes the body and guess what? Prevents cancer. Come on now, you can't beat that. Okay, last but not least, I didn't know whether I was gonna show it or not. I'll show it. This is coconut oil, not to be mistaken for my coconut water that I drink every day. I did buy some more coconut water. I buy that every week. Um, but this is coconut oil, and um, I like it when it's firm, but it's liquidy right now um, because it's hot. It's hot out, uh, but it firms up when it's like a, a decent temperature in, in, in the room. Now, coconut oil, you can cook with it. You can put it in your hair. You can put it on your skin. It softens the skin. You can brush your teeth with it. Yes, you can brush your teeth, brush your gums. Great for teeth health. I use it personally. I got that for my hair because it helps promote your hair growth. That coconut oil I use for my skin. I use for uh, my hair. And once in a while, I'll uh, put it in, I'll cook with it. You know, I'll cook with it. But, um... I'm saying once in a while, I, I do cook with it. Um, that is it. That's it. So, what did you think about the, what did I call this? The Food for Life haul. Did you like it? Tell me. I'll keep going to, hey, that farmer's market is so huge. They've got all kinds of stuff that I can bring back and talk about. I mean, I also brought, I purchased bananas. I purchased um, plantain. You know, like I said, I'm a creature of habit. So I pretty much eat a lot of the same things over and over again. Um, but these things give a lot of energy. And um, before you know it, you know, you're, you're going to be feeling vibrant and just alive, you know. When I go to work, uh, you know, like I said, my job, I don't really have much stress, you know, um, and I'm thankful for that. And I'll go to work and I'm the one that's energized. I'm over here. I'm over there. People, you know, I'm moving and shaking. I'm, you know, and uh, I don't know. I just see the people creeping along younger than me, younger than me, creeping along with their cheese steaks and their what did I see the other day? I, oh, 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 oh. Chicken gizzards with cheese. I was just like, I'm done. I am, I'm done. I didn't say it. I didn't say it because I don't want anybody thinking I think I'm too good. Because, you know, when you start, you know, you, you got to be careful with sounding healthy. Because the people that don't indulge, they think that you're, trying to be better than them. So I didn't say anything, but I was thinking, cheese, why, why, why do you have to have the cheese with the gizzard, the chicken gizzard with the cheese? Oh. Okay, and fries. Oh, I didn't even stick around and see what they were drinking. Anyway, and then they wondered why they, oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, I need, I need some Pepto-Bismol. I need some Rolaids. We don't need these things. Eat right and you'll be fine. Okay, I'm shutting up. I love you all. It was really good seeing you again. And I hope to see you soon. One of these days, I will complete my series of becoming a better human. I have not forgotten that. And I shall be talking to you later. But it was great seeing you again. I'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. Peace.